Welcome to Levon's Corner. Today we are testing different types of bottled waters to see which is acidic and which has a high pH level. It is very important for our drinking water to contain at least a pH of 7 and above. Today we have 12 different bottled waters and we will be experimenting with a special drop we have purchased online. I will have the link below for your convenience. A simple breakdown of the two waters is that regular water is just plain empty water as opposed to alkaline water which also contains calcium, magnesium, also potassium. The color chart on the box will further explain to us the levels of pH in our water. The chart starts from 2 to 6 which is acidic level, a 7 is neutral and a 8 until an 11 is alkaline water. Here we have 12 cups of tap water. We are going to add 2 to 3 drops of this tester to each cup and we will see what color the water turns into. If our water turns yellow, we will have acidic water. If the water turns blue, then we will have alkaline water. If the water turns green, that means our water is neutral. And let's begin by starting our experiment. We will start by experimenting with our drops and our first water we are going to be testing is Voss water which comes in a glass bottle and is from Norway. This water Voss claims to be very clean and has a high pH level. Let's begin by opening the Voss water bottle and filling our cup. Our second water we are going to demonstrate is core water. Our core water shows that it has a pH level of 7.4. Our third water bottle today that we are going to be testing is smart water, which claims that it has a pH level of 9 plus. Coming to our fourth water bottle that we have is the Smart Water. This is just the regular Smart Water. We will be pouring this one. Our fifth water bottle today we have is Ascentia, which claims that it has a 9.5 alkaline pH level. From our 12 bottles of water, Ascentia claims it has the highest levels of pH which is 9.5. Our sixth water bottle that we have is called Deja Blue. We will be pouring that. We will see if this water is really true to its name. Our seventh water bottle that we have here is called Arrowhead. It is claiming to be 100% mountain spring water. It has been established since 1894. Our eighth water bottle that we have here is called Crystal Geyser. It is all natural alpine spring water. Our ninth water bottle that we have here is called Nestle Pure Life. It is purified water enhanced with minerals for taste. It is also made with 100% real recycled plastic. Our 10th water that we have is our most famous that we see a lot of people actually buying from supermarkets and stores. It is called Dasani. It is purified water in a plant bottle. Up to 30% made from plants and 100% recyclable plastic bottle. Our 11th bottle here that we are pouring is called Life Water. It's purified water with pH balanced electrolytes for taste. And our very last bottle that we have is Fiji Water, which comes from Fiji, is also another very, very, very popular water that a lot of people tend to buy at stores. Now that we have poured all our water into the glasses, 
we are going to take our magical drops and we are going to drop two to three drops into each and every glass. After a few seconds, after the drops have been into the water, the colors of the water will start changing colors. They will range from anywhere from yellow to green to turquoise to a very dark blue. Our first water that we tested is Voss. Voss has a pH level of actually 4, which is very acidic. Our second water bottle that we tested is Core, which claims to have a pH level of 7.4. And the test actually proved that is correct and is actually maybe around even an 8. Our third water is Smart Water, which claims to have a pH of 9 which is actually, I would say, around an eight. Very another expensive water we have is Smart Water, which is actually a level of five, which is also very acidic. Our next water is Ascentia, is which is another expensive water, but it is a very clean water, which comes out to around eight to 8.5. Our next water is Deja Blue, which is actually not very blue. It is actually a four pH level. Our next water is Arrowhead, which is 100% spring water, which is almost around 8 to 8.5 pH level. Our next water up is Crystal Geyser water, which pH is around 6 to 6.5 pH level. Our next water is Nestle Pure Life, which is around 6 pH level. Our next water up is the Sani, which is very bad also. It is around an estimated 4. The next water is Pure Life, which is around 7, which is neutral. And our very last water is Fiji, which is 8.0 alkaline water. So after we have tested all the waters, you have seen which is acidic water and which is alkaline water. And our final results show that the water, it does not matter whether the price is high or the price is low. And also we have another test. We are going to test tap water and filtered water. I personally think that tap water is going to be dirtier and filtered water is going to be cleaner. But oops, come to see that tap water is more cleaner. And let us test the filtered water. And oops, come to see that it is very acidic. Now that we have tested all 12 different water bottles, also the tap water, also the filtered water, it is very important to understand that it does not matter how much you pay for water. Clean water might come at a cheaper price and higher priced waters will not contain cleaner water. I will have more information down in the description box. Also, please don't forget to like my video, give it a thumbs up, and make sure you subscribe and comment. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope everybody has a blessed day.